So we're underway out here on the court two. As the Volleyball World Beat the Pro Tour Elite 16 here in Vienna, Austria. And this will be a very, very big pool C matchup. Damien Schumann with you here for this one. Key, of course, for playing well, Team USA has well and truly embraced is to just serve as tough as possible. And of course, once you do that, at least you don't have to worry about a jump setter or a two ball, but stopping them on three, just as difficult. What a block, what a cover from Frechner. Comes in high off the hands, the rally's still alive somehow. Vinter passes up his partner. And it's a two ball error from Frechner. Don't often see that. Swing, get the elbow sequencing at the right time, make sure his wrist is pointing the right way. An absolute tactician when it comes to his arm swing. And the standing jump float causing all sorts go, go, go. of uh, difficulty for Sven Winter. And I said standing jump float, I didn't mean that. I meant just a completely standing Winter, six foot six. Frechner, six foot four. Quite a good size, probably not by German standards, but go, go, go. still very, very handy above the net. Little opportunity now, Germany. Second phase of this rally. Oh, that's a huge monster block. Cross court angle. So some big explosive plays already here on court two. And after that, the Elite 16 in Hamburg, they got a fifth. That was pretty much the month, well, a couple of months of beach volleyball that just already sealed the fact that they were going to go to Olympic Games. And that's pretty extraordinary. Just to lock it away. months is just something to behold. Since then, of course, every team has done their homework. And things haven't quite been, I wouldn't say easy, but as straightforward for them since then. Tartain still just experimenting with some standing float serves. Oh, and he was there. That is extraordinary athleticism. Somehow, that rally's staying alive. Andy Banesh, I take my not oh, Miles Partain, almost a carbon copy of the great Janus Smedens. Of course, he's still playing, don't you worry about that. He's not going anywhere, playing with Tox at the moment, but haven't quite managed to find their way through to this level, so... Almost like Janus Smedens reincarnate. Changing him a couple of times already in the first half of this first set. Still a little bit of wind about, that new river. Oh, it's a big swing from Sven Vinter. Doesn't have a big drawback. Before the block is formed, it's quite a quite a tricky play to block, in fact. Short serve is good. Which yeah. team you were saying under a pretty big amount of pressure, but that's a big jump serve. And that's an ace serve, and that that's pretty much it. And so you don't really need to discuss it. They know exactly what they're aiming for all the time. And if the pass isn't there, maybe set up and down a little bit more in the middle or that inside position. Well, they're two points ahead, so everything's going okay at the moment. Closing in on the business end of this first set. Winter puts everything he has into that hit. But unfortunately for Germany, it's now a three-point lead to Team USA. Enjoying that one, standing and delivering. Good amount of pace. passing pressure. Serving pressure, yeah. definitely something this team has targeted. Something that they could improve. Just let Team USA off the hook ever so slightly. Well, have a look at that behind jump set. Put Vinter in an awkward position, however. And Team USA delivered. The jump set was just phenomenal. Explosive and, dare I say, fancy style of offense. It can all go wrong pretty quickly. And Banesh, well, he wasn't fooled. By the jump set. But they're going to need a couple of miraculous monster blocks very, very quickly if they're to come back and. Banesh as the captain, well, within his rights, just to challenge the referee at times. Oh, and that is just a really, really high reach from Partain. Just went for height. You dare say that Frenchman would have got a hand on it. That is very, very high. Three American defender. That's a good pass. 
Alright, at least at this point of time. The Always a good time to really just get a cop to that pass. No chance. Good offense, Germany. One side out required for the set, and that's a shaky pass. So here's a chance for Germany. Freshner runs through the middle, a little bit of a wide set, and it's a monster block for the set. The spiritual homes of beach volleyball in Austria and Vienna, particularly. Go. What a dig! Yes, oh. Well, it was an unbelievable dig and an even better block from Vincent. So that's two monster blocks for him already. Miles Partain just persisting with the standing jump float, whether it's from the baseline or a few meters off the baseline, but. He's still making defensive plays, so no harm in continuing to do so. Great dig from Winter this time with a very nice rainbow shot over the cross-court block. And that Winter has. Oh, that's a perfect serve. After serving a fair few errors, Frechner. No harm done whatsoever. Short serve is good. Germany in all sorts of trouble here. The Nesh puts everything he has into it. Big knuckle up at the net. Germany come away with a big point. Perfect, right on the baseline. Well, oh, the net clip ace. Absolute perfection from Miles Partain. He's been always tricky to make those football calls, but the line's ref in a wonderful position to do so. And it's a two point swing. It was controversial. Not as controversial for the refereeing team. That's another good serve as well. Free ball opportunity. Perfect handset. Very stylish from Team USA. Another two ball opportunity, and it is taken from Andy Banesh. Germany now just starting to. Well, this team wasn't quite delivering really tough serves from the baseline. They were just relying on the defensive structure. So this is a really good sign in the lead up to the Olympics. And what a cover from Winter. That is definitely worth celebrating. Jump set. Perfect. Oh, the ball doesn't. That's okay. Freshner high above the net. Well, they must side out, and then it's almost ace or error time for them. Well, that's something we don't see all that often. And he needs to hammer this ball. Goes for the short serve, that's just as good. Well done, Sven Winter, sensing the moment. Aggressive serve down the line, puts Partey under pressure again. That's two shanks in a row for Partain. And just when Team USA looked like they might be on the back foot in a rally, Andy Banesh comes up with the biggest block of the match so far. Frechner in a strong position, so if Andy Banesh to laterally move across the net and still create a really good seal. Well, that's very impressive his deed, indeed. Is. Well, the service pressure is good from Germany. Must convert. And they do so. Frechner angling in. Still going for that last meter. A little bit of a grey area. And sometimes players do have to initiate contact. To get a fault called for them under the net. Good deep swing to the corner. And he has delivered. Four match points for Team USA. Frechner not to be done with yet. Can't serve it easy either. Oh, he goes for it and it's a perfect ace. That is an extraordinary serve given the circumstances. That just doesn't bode well for Frechner and his jump serve. But he still delivers again. It's a perfect pass from Banesh. He's played the perfect game and he finds a way through down the line for a convincing two-set victory to the United States of America. Congratulations, Andy Banesh and Miles Partain.
taking out this Pool C matchup. A bit of controversy between the refereeing team. 2019, first set point for.